tonight, Asylum finally comes So Let me introduce you to the Asylum. W.A.W. Hall of Famer, the living curse sick, the newest member of the Hall of Fame, the wicked one, the Jersey Devil, the newest member, Lynn Hardy, and me! <laughs> Last year at Lord of the Rings, sick helped me come. Oh, we almost did. You got that back? Yeah. Uh, we have a And then Lynn, he helped us sell an NLP, beating Payback's ass, and they did it tonight too in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> That makes officially two Hall of Famers in WWE. Welcome, you gotta catch up. It's only, you know? I'll try someday. But tonight, it's not about the Hall of Fame. It's really not even about WAW coming back. Tonight is about defending the WAW Team Championships against the number one contenders, Total Chaos. Why are Total Chaos the number one contenders? Well, you wanna refresh people's memories? They won the match at Apocalypse in WWE? That's right, they yes. did. But that's not the only reason they're the number one contenders. It's not the only reason they're in a league of these championships. They are single-handedly one of the greatest teams in WAW history. I will take nothing away from them. They are fantastic. In fact, they're probably going to be in better shape than us tonight. In fact, they're probably going to have a little less rust because in the whole eight months that we've been off, the whole eight months that we've just been sitting around drinking Mountain Dew and eating Reese's peanut butter cups, They've been playing other sports because they're athletes. They are superior athletes. I would venture to guess that they could probably beat us in uh, America's greatest pastime, favorite pastime, baseball. You can't play baseball too much. Too. You've got baseball gloves up. You need nine players to play baseball for each team. It's four of us. You need five more. It's three then. You need like six more. I don't right, forget I baseball. Tell. I bet they could beat us in a game of football. You can't play football 2 on 2! Why? Because you need like 11 people on one team. 11? 11? Yes! Alright, you're ruining my promo. This is my gift. Can I do this? Well, you okay, might. Okay. Honestly? Okay, just say yes to everything I ask you from now on. Okay, I can Thank do you. this. Could they beat us in a game of tennis? Yes. How about basketball? Yes. Perhaps bowling? Yes. Darts? What is darts? But yes. Billiards? I don't know what that is, too. Yes. Cricket? Yes. Okay? Yes. Is that one with the broom? Curling. Yes! But could they beat us in a tag team wrestling match? Yes! Yes, and that is... No! What? Oh. What did you do now? Rocco, tonight we are defending the WWE Team Championships against the Chaos Brothers. I'm trying to give them credit as fantastic athletes. They could probably beat us in a bunch of other sports, but this is ours! And it doesn't even matter, because tonight and for every night since WAW comes back, the inmates are running the asylum! <laughs> I'm gonna teach you about sports! <laughs> Somebody get Pete the Ring Announcer a microphone. 
as you heard the ring interruptions from Peter Labrie, the new ring announcer here in WAW. This is time for the WAW Team Championship match between the Chaos Brothers, Kevin and Q, and the WAW Team Champions, Rocco and the Jersey Devil, the team known as Asylum. Asylum making their way out towards the ring to stitches from Wretched Asylum. Fellow Asylum member Sick is in Wretched Asylum, the band that produces countless songs that have been used here in WAW, such as We All Die the Aftermath theme, the theme for Asylum, Stitches, Negative Seven, which used to be the theme for Asylum and was the inspiration for the Asylum of the Dead and eventually the Kindred theme song, which was a direct knock by Christian saying that Gino Diomedes and Asylum because the song was made for when the cult of the dead and Asylum had a brief uh, merge that lasted all of three weeks. And this WAW Team Championship match is underway as Q Chaos and Rocco start things off. Rocco with the go behind, trying to bring Q Chaos up, but it doesn't work there. Chaos going behind at a hammerlock. Snapmare takeover by Rocco onto the former WAW Champion, looking to add another title to his resume, looking to be able to say he's a WAW Team Champion, along with being a WAW Champion and also the winner of Hellbound 2003. Q with the go around on the headlock. Now going behind with the hammerlock once more on Rocco. Going back into the headlock, almost couldn't keep it. Rocco almost broke free, but Rocco breaking free now. Back in Q off the ropes, sends him off the opposite side. Shoulder block takedown by Q. Rocco drops down, Q goes over. Leapfrog by Rocco, Q off the ropes, and we get a arm drag takeover. And a hip toss slam there by Rocco. And we got him up, and nope. Q Chaos has Rocco, rolls him up, we got a cover, two, and Rocco gets the ropes. Q rolling in, we get another cover, and we get two once more, as Q gets two quick near falls on one half of the WAW Team Champions. And this is not elimination, ladies and gentlemen, this is one fall to a finish. Sunset flip there, near fall, what are we about to see here? Backslide by Q, another cover, two, and Rocco once again gets himself out of the pinning predicament. Once more, rolling through does Q, got another cover, this time Rocco gets the ropes once more. That's five near pinfall by Q, small package, we get another count, and two, as Rocco kicks out of six pinfalls by Q. Going for another? Fisherman suplex, Q with another pin. And we get two once more. Rocco, obviously very frustrated after falling victim to seven near falls by Q Chaos. And here comes the fresh members of both teams. The wicked one, the Jersey Devil, the newest inductee into the WWE Hall of Fame, and Mr. Intensity himself, Kevin Chaos. Take down by the Jersey Devil, and he's got Kevin Chaos at a side headlock. Head scissors take over by Kevin Chaos. Jersey Devil nips up and gets up to his feet. He's got Kevin Chaos headlock takeover. Takes him down once again. Once again though, Kevin Chaos with the head scissors taking the Jersey Devil right out of the headlock. Headlock takeover once more. Jersey Devil keeps it again, but this time once more, another head scissors takeover. And total chaos, the Chaos Brothers are proving to be just one up on Asylum thus far. Jersey Devil and Rocco trying to regroup in the corner. Total Chaos with an early advantage here. Countering nearly every Asylum move. Jersey Devil moves out of the way, rolling through. Jersey Devil rolls through again. Kevin Chaos looking for the lockup, nothing happening. And he rolls through again. Kevin Chaos got to be starting to get frustrated here. Jersey Devil continuing to roll through every attempt. 
If he's serious about starting to wrestle here, what a takeover there by Kevin Chaos. The Jersey Devil pointed at his face paint and said, come on, me serious? I guess that was supposed to be a joke by the Jersey Devil. I get it. This time the fortunes are reversed. Kevin Chaos with a side headlock, but the Jersey Devil keeps head scissoring, head scissoring Kevin Chaos out of it, but Kevin keeps going back, roll over into a pin, and Kevin almost fell victim, but only kicked out at two. Once again, rolled back and again at two. Kevin Chaos keeping that headlock firmly tight, but Jersey Devil breaks off and he gets dropped with a shoulder block. Drops down, Kevin Chaos off the ropes. Oh, drops down with an uppercut. Jersey Devil made a mistake and dropped his head. Kevin Chaos, he's going for it already. The Chaos Theory. No, he's not. Sends the Jersey Devil to the ropes. Oh, what a close line there by Kevin Chaos. Driving himself right into the corner where the Jersey Devil was laying. Here we go. Chaos splash in the corner. Irish whip once again. Jersey Devil now up on the top rope. Tried for the kickback. And I think those ropes are starting to come loose or something. Jersey Devil lost his footing. Kevin Chaos barely got a piece of a drop kick there and goes for a cover on the Jersey Devil. Jersey Devil rolling through a drop kick there. Kevin Chaos back dropped over the top rope and to the floor. Jersey Devil going off the ropes. Kick back, sends Kevin Chaos back to the floor. Drop kick, takes Rocco down, baseball slide. Q saving his brother from a potential attack at the hands of Rocco. Three. Jersey Devil now, what's he gonna set up for? Four. Bouncing off the ropes, going off the opposite side. Oh, what a move there by the Jersey Devil. Springboard, or no springboard involved, excuse me, but Plancha himself over the top rope with that flip, taking out everybody, including his tag team partner. Sometimes you gotta take out the ones you like to accomplish something. And he did in this case, sending Q back into the ring. And on the tag list rule, Q is the legal man, as is the Jersey Devil. Irish whip off the ropes, and we get a pinball attempt. No, complete shot. What a counter there by the Jersey Devil onto Q. Jersey Devil wrenching that arm of Q. Twisting it around, slamming it into the mat. Jersey Devil now, could he be going to walk the ropes? No, he doesn't. Flipping arm breaker there. Takes the tag to Rocco. Rocco on the top rope with a double axe handle. Right to the arm of Q. Asylum starting to get smart here. They're starting to isolate a body part on Q. And they are working on the arms. Rocco dropping down with the double axe handle, and again. And continuing to work on that arm, dropping an elbow right into the arm of Q. Rocco isolating that body part, inflicting damage on it, and that is very smart on the part of one half of the WAW Team Champions. And what is Rocco doing? He's trying to say that he's gonna walk the ropes. I don't know what Rocco just did there. I'm not sure if he fell or if he caught Q's arm. Jersey Devil now into the ring. 
And I think he says he's gonna show Rondo how it's done. How you grab the arm and drop down to the floor. Walk along. See? It's easy when you go high. And drops down he goes. And Rocco gets back into the ring. Well, I guess we know who walks the ropes better uh, in Asylum, and that man would be the Jersey you Devil. You know what? I'll just do this. Oh, yeah. You want the technical one. Rocco yeah. continuing to work on that arm of Q. Very, very smart work here by Rocco. That's why Asylum are the team champions. They know their game plans. They know their opponents. And right now, they are isolating that right arm of Q. Rocco has got it in an arm bar right now, inflicting continuous pain on it, wrenching the ligaments and the joints in the arm, and Q is in a bad way. If his arm's hurting him, he may not be able to reach out for a tag if it comes down to it, and he needs that arm. Q with an Irish whip, but it's reversed by Rocco. Hip toss slam again, taking Q down. We get two, and we get almost three as Q kicks out at the last second. Why won't he stay down? Get off, Rocco! Complete shot by Rocco on the Q. Do you want some? Come on, Q. Come on, Q. Rocco continuing to do the damage on that arm. Coming off the ropes, knee drive right into the elbow of Q. Rocco continuing to stay on top of his opponent, preventing him from making a tag. Rocco's been really good about keeping Q in the asylum side of the ring. Damn it, that thing's working for me! I don't think things turned out there for Rocco the way he was hoping. Very frustrated with the outcome of that. Q now has Rocco up. He's called for it. Twista drops him down. And Q could finally be starting to get some advantage here. Finally countering the offense of Rocco with a Twista. This could be the fortunes that Total Chaos is looking for. Kevin Chaos is pumped up in the corner. He's reached out for the tag. Q trying his best. He's only got one arm to move with. Can he make a tag? Jersey Devil's already in the ring. Rocco leaves. Tag by Q. Kevin comes in, dropping the members of Asylum. Drop kick to the Jersey Devil. Drop kick to Rocco. Kevin Chaos is on fire right now. Close line in the corner on the Jersey Devil. And what do we got here? Link drop to the back of the head. The Chaos Driver driving that face right into the back. And power slam takeover. Kevin Chaos is completely on fire here. He is pumping up with that intensity and taking down the WAW Team Champion. Sent off the ropes. Rocco into the corner. Here goes the Jersey oh. Devil into his partner as well. Here comes Q. Irish whipped in by Kevin. Clothesline. Q is down. And I think Q might have given out there. I don't know if Kevin hit all of that. Q's injured arm looked like it gave way. What do we got here? Kevin Chaos setting up a suplex. Brings him over, drives him down. Driving the Jersey Devil right to the back of the head of Rocco. The Chaos Brothers look like they could be going for the victory here. We get a cover and we only get two as Rocco kicks out. Q Chaos' arm in some bad shape. He's trying to use the adrenaline to be able to attack the Jersey Devil. But wait a second, here we go. New Testament on the floor by the Jersey Devil. Jersey Devil pulling Rocco out of the ring and bringing himself into the ring. Going after Kevin Chaos, going for that New Testament. He's up and he gets hung up on the top rope by Kevin Chaos in the Tree of Woes. Kevin Chaos now, grabbing the Jersey Devil, he's got him up. What's he going for here? 
Chaos Effect, no. Jersey Devil, he's got the arms hooked. Here comes Rocco. Could it be time for the lockdown? Here we go, lockdown! And this could be all. Asylum could be about to retain their championship. But here comes Q. He gets grabbed by the Jersey Devil. And he is stepping through. And we get a double lock. Rocco now going over to Kevin Chaos. And we get a cross face. Your legal men, I believe, are Rocco. Wait a second. Here comes Payback. What the hell's going on here? Payback rushing the ring. And the referee is calling for the bell. I'm assuming Total Chaos has just been a. I, I'm assuming they've just been disqualified. Mass referee conferring with the ring announcer. The referee has just been ordered. And that's Tyler. It's won by disqualification. What are you guys doing? And it's official asylum winners of this match by disqualification, but they don't look like winners at all. As payback laying the beat down on asylum, but total chaos is up and standing, and they're going after payback. They are hammering away on the men who just cost them the WAW Team Championship. Total chaos is, oh, close line by Staples, taken down. This is payback. Jack Phillips. Well, he's got him up, drives him down into the mat. Payback waiting to bring here over total chaos and asylum. What is going on now? FMJ music playing. Here comes Full Metal Jacket. Captain Vincent Zarello twice unsuccessful in the Lord of the Ring match. And the man who is challenging the WAW Championship in just a few minutes, Major Morpheus Morenzi. Captain Vincent Zarello grabbing the WAW Team Championship belt and throwing them in the ring and throwing the Jersey Devil in as well. It looks like Full Metal Jacket is looking to get themselves a piece of asylum oh, just man, like they did right. eight months ago. Hey, uh, Boiling yeah, point well, by I'm Major Morpheus Morenzi on Rocco. Uh -oh. Captain Vincent Zarello now trying to get Jersey Devil up. He's got him up. Capsize driving Captain Vincent Zarello. Excuse me, driving Rocco. Driving the Jersey Devil to Rocco. There's just too much going on. I'm losing my mind. Jersey Devil thrown over the top rope. I can't believe FMJ and their reprehensible actions once again here at Lord of the Ring 2007. It looks like the captain's got something to say. And over a year for myself, I would like that dog tag back. Thank you. As I said before, waiting seven months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, champions! As I was saying, shut up. Seven months over a year for me. It is good to be back. It's good to be back kicking ass. It's not good to be back because I have to look at every one of your faces. Uh, but, but besides that, yeah, booing really hurts. I'm not used to it by now. My buddy Moops, in the December of 06, got into a car accident. Tanks, I don't know what the hell it was. Shoulder injury. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. He's up, yeah, yeah. Car accidents are no laughing matter, people. Now I know you guys want to see 
one of you at the same time. Let's Please. go! Jacket and this WAW Championship match, our main event of, Leg of Lord of the Ring, excuse me, Legacies in a month. I'm getting ahead of myself. The main event of Lord of the Ring, Captain Fittigarello and Freaking Flax for the WAW Championship is underway. Freaking Flax, drop to holds. Captain Vincent Torello into the crotch of Major Morpheus Morenzi and Benjamin Pride quickly there to rub Captain's face in it. Captain Vincent Torello now has freaking Flax tied up. Here comes Major Morpheus Morenzi. Flax moves and Morenzi close lines Torello. Freaking Flax putting both men down in the corner. Here we go. T Man in the corner. We got ourselves a double for Lord of the Ring 2007, but he just got punched in the T Bag by Full Metal Jacket, who power bombed freaking Flax double style out of the ring. And the referee officially calling for the bell. The fight was underway, but the match is now officially underway as Major Morpheus Morenzi has cleared the ring. We got a sunset flip attempt. Freaking Flax drops down, and we got a count of two. Another count of two. Freaking Flax brought up and down on his feet. Hammer away, Captain Vincent Zarello. Trying to go around. Neck breaker by Captain Vincent Zarello. We got a cover. We got a count, and we only get two as the captain gets a near fall. What a strange turn of events for Captain Vincent Zarello, also setting himself 
a first time, the first time ever that somebody has been in the Lord of the Ring match and then also challenged the title later on in that night as Captain Vincent Zarello entered at number four and number six and is also in the main event for the WAW Championship here tonight at Lord of the Rings 2007. Can he bring that title to Full Metal Jacket or will Freaking Flash retain the title as he continues in his one year reign as WAW Champion? You guys ready to be impressed for this? That's right. Captain you. Vincent Zarello now heading up into the corner. Could be time for an impressor. Oh, and we get a drop toe hold by freaking Fox catching the impressor, taking Captain Vincent Zarello down. And now he's riding him around like he's a, a horse or a dog. Just riding him around, smacking him in the ass. Typical antics from freaking Flax. And we got a foot bump by Flax after the Fireman's carry there by Captain Vincent Zarello. Another cover and another counter two. Flax now. Irish whips Captain Vincent Zarello off the ropes. Zarello over Flax. Drive for the arm, the arm takeover. Short arm reversal, chop to the chest. Irish whip off the ropes. Leap frog by Flax. Moving backwards, sends him flying with the feet. Flax now going for the cover. We get two, and we only get two. Freaking Flax got caught with a shot to the stomach there by the captain. And we get an LBT by Zarello onto Flax. Both men are down. Referee starting to count. Major Morpheus Morenzi and Benjamin Pride almost having a moment there. Possible brawl on the floor. That could brew at any moment. Walking the plank. Taking him over, hanging him over that top rope there. Pulling Flax out, feet first, dropping him down face first on the floor. And Major Morpheus Morenci whipping away at, Cap at freaking Flax. And Benjamin Pride takes the whip and he's going right after Major Morpheus Morenci, trying to give him a good spanking. And he's doing the same to Captain Vincent Zarella. Two. The pervert, and now he's running. Benjamin Pride trying to run away, and he gets caught by Major Morpheus Morenzi after he slips and falls. Pride sent head first right into the ring post by Major Morpheus Morenzi, and Morenzi's got those handcuffs out. What the hell's going on with this? He's going to handcuff the pervert Benjamin Pride right to the ring post. Captain Vincent Zarello now coming back into the ring after freaking Flax. Benjamin Pride has been handcuffed to the ring post by Major Morpheus Morenzi. Freaking Flax now. And goes to the Flax Master. No. Gets caught. Reverse LDT it looked like. We get a cover, we get a count, and we only get two as the WAW champion manages to get a shoulder up at the last second. How do you like that? Major Morpheus Morenzi taunting Benjamin Pride, taking the WAW title away from the corner. Spinning sidewalk into a head scissors takeover by freaking Flax. Benjamin Pride trying to use that whip, but it, uh, it's not really working. Going for the Olay bomb. Could it be time for the capsize? He's got him up. Could it be? Flipping off the fans. Flax hooking the rope. Morenzi trying to hit that foot off. Oh, we got a takedown by freaking Flax. Springing himself off the ropes. Taking down Zarello, who was going for the capsize. Both men now working their way back up to their feet. Freaking Flax now hammering away 
at Captain Vincent Zarello. And he gets hit right back. Now trading punches back and forth. Champion and challenger. Freaking flex now. Calls for the strike punch and hits Captain back. Here we go. Freaking flex charging. Cross body block. And Captain and Flax both hit the floor. Both men tumbling over the top rope and Two. down to the floor. Brittany now picking up his fallen FMJ teammate. Benjamin Perrine trying to lend a foot to freaking Flax, but he's not quite close enough. Brittany helping Zarello back up to his feet. Flax is now up on his feet as well. Flax trying to head back into the ring, and he does. Maritzi has the key to the handcuffs. Zarello coming in, he gets caught by freaking Flax. What do we got here, toss salad? No. Zarello dropping down, preventing that toss salad by the champion freaking Flax. Oh, that's disgusting. And we get a toss salad. This could do it. This could be all. Freaking Flax hitting the toss salad. We get a cover one. Two, and what the hell? Major Morpheus Maritzi putting the leg of Captain Vincent Zarello up on that bottom rope, breaking the pinfall after that toss salad by freaking Flax. Captain with a slap to the face, kick to the stomach. He's got him up both for the capsize. Oh, and the referee gets taken out. Zarello dropping Flax out of the, the capsize, and now Morenzi grabbing a steel chair and heading into the ring. They're setting up that chair. Could it be capsize onto the chair? Jimmy Fox comes out, falls flat on his face. Fox now up on the apron. And Marinzi gets dumped over the top rope as Jimmy Fox pulls the top rope down. Here comes Zarello, charging with the chair. Fox drops down and bounces back in the face of Captain Vincent Zarello. We get a pin by Flax. We get two. And we get three. Freaking Flax retains the WAW Championship as Triforce is unofficially reunited here for a moment, if nothing else, as Jimmy Fox prevents the use of the steel chair on freaking Flax by Captain Vincent Zarello, bouncing that chair back into the face of Captain, leading to the pinfall for freaking Flax here tonight at Lord of the Ring 2007, and Captain Vincent Zarello cannot believe it. Lorenzi has the key, so I'm guessing Brian might be stuck there for a while. Fox gets attacked, as does freaking Flax. FMJ not satisfied with this outcome. And Lorenzi dropping Jimmy Fox with a boiling point. Captain Vincent Zarello. Captain Vincent Zarello proclaiming that he is the winner here at Lord of the Ring. But no, here comes Asylum, rushing the ring, attacking the men who attacked them earlier tonight. As is total chaos, they got attacked by FMJ just a little while ago. Here comes Payback, running out. They were involved in the team ruckus a few moments ago in the team title match. Before the main event, here's Gino Diabetes and Carnage and Master Flesh, the cult of the day. The WAW locker room is starting to empty. This is starting to resemble how the show opened up. The Lord of the Ring match. Many of the participants, plus most of WAW, has rushed the ring. I understand, ladies and gentlemen, we are running out of time. What a night it has been. Carnage wins the Lord of the Ring match to go to Legacy. Asylum retains the WAW Team Championship. And Freakin' Flax retains the WAW Championship as WAW has returned.
right Your death will lead to those of me And if it's right On reputation alone I'll make you last for days There's more than one to be said for you All stuck in your ways I stick like me to bone Right down on the deal Not short of a cut above the rest Oh yes, I'm for real Can you feel it? Ladies and gentlemen, Benjamin Brown! 